<clears throat> Thought I told you not to show your face around these parts. Looky here, the fastest gun in the West. Of course, if you were to strike me first, I got time to strike second before I go down. So you best not try it. Well, boys, if it ain't my lucky day, two wanted killers at the same watering hole. Got a death wish, Sheriff? Bartender, grab that gun from out from under that counter. I reckon we each got a gun on us, so we are all incentivized not to shoot, to avert our mutual destruction. I reckon you're right. More weapons do make us safer. Our hair trigger responses deter us from escalating this here situation. Boys, ain't no patron gonna start no drunken brawl if it could draw one of us in. Just makes the whole saloon safer. That was an accident. False alarm. Y'all know this ain't none of a shot, proving that this is the most stable situation. We ain't shot each other yet, so there ain't no risk we'll shoot each other in the future. You know, come to think of it, we could all agree to lower our weapons and settle our differences without no threat of force. Take this seriously. I would just shoot you. Come on now. Well, boys, I got a mosey on home, I reckon, so I'll just switch out with my deputy, Crazy Clay. Take care, Sheriff. I hate that fellow. Everybody in my line of fire, I want to see y'all dance. I like that. Start dancing and I'll protect you. With my gun. Missy, run home and bring me my shotgun and a barrel of gunpowder. It's a matter of public safety. Yep, this is the safest saloon in the West. Ladies, imagine this. You're at a house party and some econ bro is explaining game theory to you. Now, if every military leader were that econ bro, maybe nuclear deterrence wouldn't be such a dumb idea. Not everyone is a rational, self-interested technocrat. But hyper-masculine theorists and pundits will believe anything if they get to blow stuff up. Nations ignore the risks and harms of nuclear weapons as they race to become invulnerable and dominant. Their obsessions with security crises become self-fulfilling prophecies as they arms race and push each other to the brink of war. The US broke the Iran deal and international law is busted. Every nuclear state boycotted the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, which needs 29 more ratifications to go into effect. The U.S. constantly violates the Non-Proliferation Treaty, going completely mask off with Obama's trillion dollar nuclear modernization. Amazingly, the U.S. doesn't have a no first use policy. That means the president can order a nuclear attack at any time, even before someone else attacks. So your life is in the hands of the same geniuses who invaded Iraq and Afghanistan playing a 10th dimensional explosive chess game. These systems are launch on warning, so a miscalculation could be game over. The potential of a disarming attack creates a use-it-or-lose-it pressure, risking an accidental launch. The only nuclear attack in history was against Japan in 1945, even after Truman's military advisors knew the empire would surrender. Since then, nuclear war has been invisible, from the environmental damage of uranium mining, to the displacement and poisoning of indigenous people through nuclear testing and waste disposal. But unregulated production of these weapons will always happen as long as developing countries face pressure to join the nuclear club and corporations like Boeing and Lockheed Martin can cash out. It's buck wild that we've kept nukes around for this long. It's time to abolish them and move toward a global order based on mutual care. Yeehaw!